How did you kind of sum up your, your week, Will? Yeah, you know, I I did a lot of good things. Um, you know, my wedge play was honestly deplorable, to put it mildly. I I really something that I've been trying to improve on over the past year, and I've been seeing some results, but this week not so much. I think it was part of it was just, you know, trying to judge the right wins and, you know, every shot's another grain out here. So, um, but besides that, you know, today I honestly – wasn't my best ball striking day, but my short game saved me around the greens, um, which that's, a, like I said, that's a massive confidence boost for me. Um, you know, anytime you're making up, and I think I was maybe four out of five or something like that out of the bunkers today. So um, I'm pretty pleased, obviously, with the result. I mean, I. There's just been a pipeline out of Dallas. You know, North Texas PGA has a really great uh, junior series, and we've been playing together for 16 years now. So, um, and on top of that, you know, at any given day back home, there's a good chance that, you know, Scotty, Jordan, and I are playing together. And so, you know, obviously seeing Jordan's run in 15 and obviously all of his success and obviously Scotty doing what he's doing, you got to go out and play good. And, you know, we're competitive people by nature. And, you know, if one guy's beating us every day, you kind of want to get a little better. So, um, you know, I, I think it's um, I think it's really cool, especially seeing you know from NTPGA to Legend Junior Tour, just seeing the progression for all of us for 16 years now. But um, there's even more behind us um, you know, that are coming up. So it's uh, we're pretty fortunate. You mentioned playing against him in high school and obviously in junior golf. What was your first impression the first time you met him? Do you, do you have any recollection? Jordan or Scotty? Scotty. I so I the kid had a great short game back then. I mean it was uh, he was a gamer. He wore pants to every tournament even if it was 110 degrees he was a try to be a professional at a young age and obviously seeing what he's doing now it's uh it's pretty cool on my part to see it um you know seeing us just do these little 18 hole junior events in the winter shooting 78 and obviously now it scores a little better and the courses are a little harder so it's uh it's really cool seeing everything kind of come full circle and obviously the progression together for all three of us how old do you think you would have been then sorry about that i was nine when we first started all playing together Yeah, it's historic. Um, I, he's, I mean, he's playing the best golf in the world, and this is uh, this is very reminiscent of Jordan in 2015. Um, any te anytime he tees it up, he's got a chance to win. So you know, there's no weaknesses in his game, um, and you know, like I said, he's a guy that you know you may think he's out of a hole, and next thing you know, he makes it. You know, I just saw him on 12 make a 10 footer to save par to keep the momentum going, and that's that was just that's the epitome of Scotty. He's been described as goofy. Was he goofy back when you guys were nine? Yeah, he's the part that's so funny is that you think number one in the world just because we've always grown up. You know, you think of Tiger because Tiger was number one in the world for all those years and, you know, the cold blooded killer. And, you know, Scotty's a guy where he'll go home and he'll go barbecue for a few days and, you know, not touch his clubs. You know, he's just he's one of those guys. And, you know, he's just he's a he is who he is. And that's something that I, I think is a really good compliment because he knows he knows his game, he knows who he is, and he doesn't take anything too seriously. And Goofy is an understatement, to put it mildly. Is that probably one of the reasons why he's been successful? He doesn't try to change who he is. Exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, he's a workhorse, too. I mean, he works as hard, if not the hardest, out of anyone in the world. And obviously, there's a reason why there's no weaknesses in his game. Um, you know, I got to give a lot of credit to Randy Smith, you know, on top of that, basically tutoring him since he was a you know, little kid. Um, you know, it's uh, anytime you're at Royal Oaks and during an off week, there's a pretty good chance you're going to see the two of them, at least on the short game area, are hitting balls on the back end together. You putted really well in Austin. You talked about mm -hmm. your short game this week. Do you get confidence going forward as far as your putting goes? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think the new putter is a good change. I mean, it's like I said, it's not a big change at all. It's just, um, wow. Um, you know, it's just a small change, but, you know, I, I know what I need to do. So, um, you know, the first win's coming soon. You know, I, I, even though I haven't won in two years out here, I, the, I'm progressing at a very nice level and um, just wait my turn. Thank you, Will. Yeah. Thanks, Will. Thanks.